Hi, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. I recently have been purchasing some AGM Night Vision and their website really doesn't make a lot of sense. And in today's video, I'm going to try and break it down. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about AGM's monoculars. That is their Generation 2, which includes the PVS-14 and the Wolf-14. And we're going to be talking about Gen 3. To best understand this, let's look at this chart first and then we're going to do some examples. So the first thing you're going to see is it's going to be Gen 2 Plus or Gen 3. Uh, Gen 3s always have auto gating. They're the newest performance line of, of night vision that you can get. Gen 2 Plus is a good budget option. They work really good. You're going to get a little bit lower lifespan on a Gen 2 Plus. And a Gen 3 is just going to run a little bit longer. It's going to last longer. It's going to be a little bit higher performance. Now, it's a little confusing because you can get lower spec Gen 3s and you can get some Gen 2s that will have very similar performance to the lowest Gen 3s. You're going to see here, too, in some of these models, they are going to have an E in them. This is their enhanced housing. It's a little bit lighter, and it accepts two different batteries, either a AA battery or a CR123. This also includes an auto tilt on off feature. So when you flip this up over your head on, on a mount on a helmet, it's going to shut off when you flip it up. Next thing we're going to see is N and A. Anytime you see an N in the description of these, it's going to be a non-auto-gated unit. A, anytime you see A, it's going to be auto-gated. This is a little bit better performance under bright lights. It can kind of adjust the power to the tube and protect it. Now, not to be confused with the A above for auto-gating, there is an AP model. Anytime you see AP, that's going to be your highest clarity resolution. It's going to have the best FOM. And it's also, if you see this on a Gen 2, that means that it has auto gating on a Gen 2. This has a lot to do with the tube clarity. So scroll down and you'll see a 1. That's going to be good clarity. And there's really not going to be any blemishes on this tube. It's going to be a good clear tube with not really any noticeable blems on it. When you go down to a 2, this is an entry level tube. There may be some visible blems on the tube when you turn it on. You'll also notice the lower you go in these tube clarities, the lower resolution they're going to be. The next one is pretty straightforward. This is L and W. L stands for green. That is the traditional color of night vision, that green classic look. And then whenever you see W, that's white phosphor. And then finally, when you look at the Gen 2 units, you are going to see a PVS-14, and you're also going to see something called a Wolf-14. The Wolf-14 is sort of AGM's own design of a monocular. It's not based on the military PVS-14. So the PVS-14 is going to come with better tubes. You can get anything you want in that PVS-14 as far as the generation tube, the clarity level, anything you want, two or three. The Wolf 14 is going to come with lower spec tubes. It's always going to be Gen 2 Plus, and it's actually going to have an auto tilt feature. The Wolf 14 is really just their budget minded monocular that they sell with some Gen 2 Plus tubes in it. Okay, so let's do two examples here. Um, the one on the left side of the screen is going to be a PVS 14. It's an E model, so it has the enhanced housing. It is AP, so it's the highest clarity and resolution, best FOM, and it has auto gating, even though that's a Gen 2. And then finally, the W is white phosphor. Let's move on to the one on the right side of the screen. It's PVS-14. It's an N, so it's non-auto gated. It's L, so it's green. It's a one, so it's not advanced performance, but it is a level one, good clarity, no blemishes tube. Okay, let's just pick one right off the website. So let's look at this one here, AGM PVS 14. It's a three, so I know it's a gen three. It's A, so I know it's auto gated. It's a W, so it's white FOSS, and it's a one, it's a level one tube. I hope this clears up things for trying to purchase AGM night vision. 
I like AGM. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, I own some of their products, and this was just a video I wanted to do to help people understand those terms and numbers inside of there. Both of these charts will be available in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.